Hello viewers, welcome to the second section of the course, Objects and Scale. This section begins with Unity, then we proceed to create a simple diorama, then proceed to learn about measurement tools, and finally introduce you to Blender. Now we move on to the first video of this section, Getting Started with Unity. In this video, we will start a new Unity project and then proceed to learn about the editor and finally learn about the default world space. If you don't have the Unity 3D game engine application installed on your PC yet, do that now. The fully featured personal edition is free and runs on both Windows and Mac. To get Unity, go to unity3d.com, get Unity. Select the version that you want, click on Download Now and continue using the instructions. We will use 5.1 version of Unity. For you beginners out there, we're going to take the first section nice and slow. Furthermore, even if you already know Unity and have developed your own games, it may be worthwhile revisiting the fundamental concepts. Let's begin by starting our new Unity project. To create a new Unity project, launch Unity from your operating system and the Open dialog box will appear. From this dialog box, select New, which opens a new project dialog box as shown. Fill in the name of your project and verify that the folder location is what you want. Ensure that 3D is selected. There is no need to select any extra asset packages at this time. Click on Create Project. Your new project opens in the Unity editor as shown. Here, I have arranged the window panels in a custom layout to facilitate this discussion and highlighted a couple of panels. The Unity editor consists of a number of non overlapping windows or panels, which may be subdivided into panes. We will now learn about some panels. The Scene panel on the upper left hand side, highlighted, is where you can visually compose the 3D space of the current scene, including the placement of objects. Below the Scene panel, lower left hand side, is the Game view, which shows the actual game camera view. Presently, it is empty with an ambient sky. When in play mode, your game runs in this panel. In the center are the hierarchy, project, and console panels. Respectively, the hierarchy panel provides a tree view of all the objects in the current scene. The project panel contains all the reusable resources for the project, including the ones imported as well as those that you'll create along the way. The console panel shows messages from Unity, including warnings and errors from code scripts. On the right hand side is the inspector panel, highlighted, which contains the properties of the currently selected object. Objects are selected by clicking on them in the scene, hierarchy, or the project panel. The inspector panel has separate panes for each component of the object. At the top is the main menu bar. On a Mac, this will be at the top of your screen, not at the top of the Unity window. There is a toolbar area with various controls that we'll use later on, including the play triangle icon button that starts play mode. From the main menu bar window menu, you can open additional panels as needed. The editor's user interface is configurable. Each panel can be arranged, resized and tabbed by grabbing one of the panel tabs and dragging it. Go ahead, try it. On the upper right hand side is a layout selector that lets you either choose between various default layouts or save your own preferences. A default empty Unity scene consists of a main camera component and a single directional light component, as listed in the hierarchy panel and depicted in the scene panel. The scene panel also shows a perspective of an infinite reference ground plane grid, like a piece of graph paper with nothing on it yet. The grid spans across the X, red, and Z, blue axes. The Y axis, green, is up. An easy way to remember the gizmo axis colors 
is by keeping in mind that RGB responds to XYZ. The inspector panel shows the details of the currently selected item. Select the directional light with your mouse, either from the hierarchy list or within the scene itself, and look at the inspector panel for each of the properties and components associated with the object, including its transform. An object transform specifies its position, rotation, and scale in the 3D world space. For example, a 0, 3, 0 position is 3 units above, y direction, the center of the ground plane, x equals 0, z equals 0. A rotation of 50, 330, 0 means that it's rotated 50 degrees around the x axis and 330 degrees around the y axis. As you'll see, you can change an object transforms numerically here or directly with the mouse in the scene panel. Similarly, if you click on the main camera, it may be located at the 0, 1, minus 10 position with no rotation. That is, it's pointed straight ahead towards the positive Z direction. When you select the main camera as shown, a camera preview inset is added to the scene panel which shows the view that the camera presently sees. Presently, the view is empty, and the reference grid does not get rendered, but a foggy horizon is discernible, with the grey ground plane below and the blue default ambient skybox above. Cool! In this video, you learned to create a Unity project, then learned about Unity Editor and default world space. Great!